what is the slope of the line passing through the points 4 and 6 and 5 and 8. So this is the point 1 and this is point 2. So this point 1 have x1, y1 and point 2 have x2 and y2. So the slope is equal to y coordinates of the point 2 minus y coordinates of point 1 divided by x coordinates of point 2 minus x coordinates of point 1. So let's substitute so here. So y2 would be 8 minus y1 is 6 divided by 5 x2 minus 4 which is x1. So the result will be 2. So the answer here is 2. What is the slope of the line passing through the points 4 minus 10 and 2 and 10? So x1, this would be x2, y, y2, y1, and this one x2, and this point is y2. So here again the slope would be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So be 10 minus minus 10 divide by 2 minus 4 so here 10 minus minus to be plus so it would be 20 divide by minus 2 so it would be minus 10 so then so the answer here will be minus 10 what is the slope of the line whose equation is given by 4y plus 48x equal to 0. Okay, to get the slope, let's have the line equation which states y equal to ax plus b. So we we'll make this equation in the same format of this equation. So here we can say 4y equal to minus 48x we move x to the other side so here we need to make it as y so we we'll divide this by 4 divide the other side by 4 so y will be equal to minus 12x so the slope here is 12 because here b here is b0, equal to 0 by the way so here the slope is equal to minus 12. What is the distance? You need the distance on the coordinate plane between the points G 4 and 0 and G is minus 8 and 0. Here the two y's are 0, so it's horizontal. So here we will take, we will make summation between 4 and minus 8 because if we draw the coordinates, the first point with G is 4 and 0, this is 4, this is 0, okay? And the second point, this is G point. The D point is minus 8 and 0, so this is minus 8 and this is D. So the distance, so here it's 8 units and here is 4 units, so the distance equal to 12 units. So the answer here is 12. Fill in the blanks with the correct numbers. The slope of the line 7y equal to 49. Now, the line equation is equal to y equal to ax plus b. And as we said, a is the slope. So let's make this equation in the same format of this line. So here we have 7y equal to 49. So divide by 7, divide by 7, so y equal to 49. So here, y equal to 49, which means that y equal to x multiply 0 plus 49, because 0 multiply x is 0. So the slope here is 0. Now, second one, the slope of the line y minus 7x equal to minus 10 so we'll make the same 
form of this line equation. So y would be equal to 7x minus 10. So the slope here is 7. Here the slope of the line equal to y equal to 3x plus 11. So the slope is 3. Now here, consider the line whose equation is y equal to 15. y equal to 15. To draw this line in the graph, the coordinates, here x, there is no x, so that means the slope is 0. So the y at 15, the line will be like this. This is the line of y equal to 15. Now, fill in the planks with the correct numbers. If the given line passes through the point A minus 8, so A would be minus 8, and A, and B, 13, and B, then A equal to the A, it would be equal to 15, and B would be equal also to 15. So here it would be 15 and 15. Because the slope is 0, there is no slope. And y equal to 15, so it will be a straight line. And these two points are passing this, this line, so the y will be 50. Now, the slope of the given line is 0. How we get this? Because the line equation is y equal to ax plus b. And here, y equal to 15. So to make it in the same form of the line equation, y equal to 0 multiply x plus 15. So here, the slope is 0. What is the slope of the line passing through the points minus 4 and minus 4 and minus 4 and 5? So the slope be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So y2 is 5 minus y1 is minus 4, so minus 4 divided by minus 4 minus minus 4. So here it would be 5 plus 4 divide by minus 4 plus 4. So it will be 9 divided by 0, which cannot be done. So the answer is undefined. So it will be 9, 9, 9. What is the value of k if the slope of the line passing through the points 12, 9 and minus 2 and k is 0. So to make the slope is 0, that means that y2 minus y1 has to be equal to 0. So here, y1 is 9, right? So here, y2 has to be also 9, equal to 0. How we can do this? Let's say, let's say slope equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and the slope with 0 so I have y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so we'll make cross multiplication so y2 minus y1 will equal to 0 so y2 minus 9 which is y1 would be equal to 0, so y would be equal to 9. y2 equal to 9, which is the k. So here the answer is 9. Fill in the plank. The slope of the line passing through the points 4 and 2 and 5 and 8 is, we have the slope equation is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So y2 is 8 equal to 8 minus y1 is 2 
divide by x2 is 5 minus x1 is 4 so the answer here it will be 6 divided by 1 equal to 6 so the answer here is 6 what number must be used to fill in the blank the slope of the line of equation y equal to 10 we answered this before that the slope will be equal to 0 because we, if we are going to make the equation the same line equation the line equation is y equal to ax plus p so here we have y equal to 10 so which is equal to p so ax here equal to 0 so that means that a equal to 0 so the slope here is 0 What is the slope of the line whose equation is minus 3y plus 9 equal to 0? As you see from this equation, x is not there. x is not there. So that means that the slope is 0. The slope is 0. So the answer here is 0. Consider the line whose equation is y equal to 6x minus 8. So the slope here is 6. Okay. Now, fill in the blanks with the correct numbers to make each statement true. So we have point i, which is 0, and j, which is 2, and k are three points in the line. To get the other point, the y coordinates of these points we will substitute these numbers with in the equation so for the first one here y equal to 6 multiply 0 minus 8 so here y will be equal to minus 8 so the answer here is minus 8 now second point for the second point here it will be y equal to 6 multiply 2 minus 8 6 multiply 2 is 12 minus 8 equal to 4 so the second y here is 4 for the third point say y equal to 6 multiply 1 minus 8 so the answer would be minus 2. So here, the other point of k, the coordinates of k is minus 2. Now, using the points i and j, i and j, which is 0 and minus 8, and for j is 2 and 4. The slope of the given line is, I don't have to do anything because the, in the equation itself, I have the slope with 6. So the answer would be 6. And the same point, because they are in, reside in the line, so also will be 6, because the slope here is 6. If you want to make sure if it's 6 or not, let's do the slope here. So the slope here, it will be 4 minus minus 8 divide by 2 minus 0 so here it will be 12 divided by 2 equal to 6 because any point in the in this line reside in this line okay is a solution so here the equation saying y equals 6x minus 8 so 6 this is the slope which of the following pairs of points lie in horizontal line? Horizontal line, so let's say if I draw the coordinates here, horizontal lines, that means it will be, this is the horizontal line. So that means the slope has to be of the line equal to zero. So to get the point whose slope is six is zero, so that means the y2 minus y1 equal to zero. So let's see the first point here. Here, minus 6, minus 
6 equal to minus 12. So there is a slope here. So this is not the right answer. Let's see here, minus 9 and minus 9. So if we apply this one, so minus 9 minus minus 9 equal to minus 9 plus 9 equal to 0. So this is the right answer. Minus 6 and minus 6, if we make a subtract, so it will be minus 6 plus 6 equal to 0. So it is the right answer. Here it's 3 minus 3, so it will be 0. This is the right answer. This one minus 3 and 3. So if we say the y2 and minus y1, so minus 3 minus 3 equal to minus 6. So this is not the right answer. And here 1 and minus 1, so 1 minus minus 1 will equal to 2. So this is the wrong answer. Okay. Line L passes through the points B0 minus 1 and Q3 and 11. What is the slope of the line L? Slope will be equal to 11 minus minus 1, 11 minus minus 1, divide by 3 minus 0, 3 minus 0. So here it will be minus minus is positive, so it will be 12, 12, divide by 3 equal to 4. So the answer here will be 4. Now, point A, C and 0 also lies on the line. What must be the value of C? <coughs> So to get this one, I have to say that I have the equation y equal to 4x plus b. So let's take any points here and substitute here. So y would be so y here is 11 equal to 4 multiply 3 plus b. So this one is 12, we'll go to the other side of minus 1, so p will be equal to minus 1. So the equation will be y equal to ax plus p, which is the slope here is 4, x and b is minus 1, so it will be like this way. Now, here is saying c is the x and y is the 0, so 4c minus 1 equal zero so 4c equal to 1 divide by 4 divide by 4 so c would be equal to point zero to five consider the graph below the line graph above passes through the point two and zero this is two and zero and zero and three this is zero and three this is to zero and this is zero and three. What is the slope of the line? Enter your answer as a decimal number. To estimate the slope, we say a slope equal y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So y2 here is zero minus three. So zero minus three divided by 2 minus 0, so it would be minus 3 over 2, which would be minus 1.5. So the answer here it will be minus 